Hey there, Josh here from Time Investment. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one of our favorite sales methodologies as a company, the Sandler selling technique. And this is such a valuable selling methodology for home improvement companies because it transforms for the better the way customers see the organization and ultimately helps them to sell more. And there are multiple sales models that teams employ to sell a product or service from traditional selling methods such as door to door and cold calls to more modern and subtle methods. All have their logic, but some work better than others in today's market. And we are privileged to have relationships with multiple organizations in the home renovation and water filtration industry. So we're in a good position to see what works and what doesn't. And one fact to keep in mind is that both the business and selling processes are vastly different than even just 10 years ago. And information today is just a few clicks away for the buyers. Through a simple Google search, they can see all your competitors and often make a full comparison between those competitors and you. And close to 93% of buyers do online research before buying. And that means salespeople can no longer bet on consumers' ignorance to land a sale or two. That's likely the key reason why Sandler's selling system has become such a dominant force in the sales business. It doesn't discriminate against the buyer. What exactly is the Sandler selling method? This system was developed in 1967 by David Sandler. And according to him, instead of using an aggressive approach, salespeople needed to act as trusty consultants, someone the consumer could essentially just trust. So if an individual wants to get a service from a contractor, for example, that means they have a problem or they lack something. And with the Sandler sales methodology, the contractor's goal isn't to convince the prospect to close as soon as possible. Their goal is to help the customer find the best possible solution and let them decide for themselves. And with that, the sales rep must focus on building a relationship as early as a qualification process so they can help the buyer pinpoint pain points throughout a bonding process. And when David Sandler was developing his selling system, he chose the imagery of a submarine to communicate his vision. And he was inspired by watching movies about World War II when submarines were attacked and to avoid flooding, the crew moved through each compartment, closing the door of the previous compartment behind them. And the Sandler selling system requires the same procedure to avoid disaster on a sales call. Your goal is to move through each compartment or step of the selling system to arrive safely at a successful sale. And if you think about it, submarines run silent and run deep. They are stealthy and everything happens under the surface, just like the perfect sales. On the other hand, the other battleships make their presence known they advertise their intentions and they are noisy and everyone sees what is happening. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each compartment of the submarine or each step of the Sandler selling methodology individually. So number one is establish bonding and rapport. Small businesses lose up to 70% of clients merely because of a lackluster client connection. And that's because the bond between the buyer and the seller is on shaking legs from the very first stage. And during the first stage of the sales process and incorporating the Sandler sales methodology, you need to establish that bond with a prospect. Ask questions, but also be mindful. The fact is that often it's not about what questions you ask, but how you ask them. So develop equal business stature and encourage open, honest communication. And number two is set an upfront contract. That means establishing ground rules to create a comfortable environment to do business. Successful sales processes rest on honesty as well. It's important that you set the right expectations from the start. It's tempting to make the service more attractive than it is, but keep in mind that customers will ultimately figure out the shortcomings one way or another. But by discussing the pain points from the start, you're creating leverage for yourself. Not only will you grow in the prospect's eyes, but you will also offer solutions. And by setting the ground rules, you're creating a healthy environment that creates more selling opportunities. And number three, identify the prospect's pain. Although you should scratch the surface when you first meet the client, don't focus too much on the problems until your bonding process is over. So after you create a bond and set up expectations, you can move to the qualification step, which is often considered the hardest one. The difficulty stems from feeling uncomfortable asking your prospect specific questions such as, have you tried to solve this problem before? Or what difficulties have you had in the past? But asking these questions and figure out the solution becomes more manageable with the right mindset. Remember to enter the conversation with the idea to help buyers find the best solution. Although your company is here to sell home improvement services, you need to deal with it as a joint problem, not an individual issue. Then it's time to uncover the prospect's budget. The budget doesn't come up until the end of the sales process in a traditional sales method. But since you're creating a trusted experience, 
both the prospect and you should be comfortable talking about budget solutions. Not only do you find out early if the customer can afford your services, but also if they're willing to invest time. Remember that prospects are hunting for the best solution. And although your company might have everything it takes to solve the problem, the prospect might simply not qualify as a potential buyer. The final stage of the qualification sales process is figuring out who, what, where, and why. The Sandler selling system aims to get vital answers as quickly as possible by creating an environment where the prospect opens up. For any organization or business, figuring out how prospects want the buying process to happen creates an effective selling system. Then it's finally time to present your fulfillment of the agreement. Armed with knowledge, you'll know what to say to make your offer the best one that they can get. And making significant home improvement investments doesn't come easy, to say the least. An average home remodeling can quickly build up to a five or six figure price. And having multiple options in your arsenal makes you ready for any problem you might discover during the sales process. When it comes to the client's budget, offering options that make the payment process easier can often be the deal breaker between a failed and a successful sale. And the process is not over after the sale is completed. There's a post-sale part as well. And to establish a long-term relationship and incentivize repeated business, you can confirm the next steps and discuss future business. And this will prevent the loss of sale to the competition or what's called buyer's remorse. Why do contractors and home improvement companies that leverage this method end up doing better than other companies. Now, I'm sure that could be a question that you're asking yourself and the simple answer is trust. When it comes to home renovations, it's rare to see a customer closing with the first option they get a quote with. And buyers shop around. At the end of the day, they end up closing with whoever conveys higher trust. It's their homes on the line. Customers know when organizations are just trying to make a sale without considering what's best for them. In addition, gaining customers trust means repeated business. They start seeing the person making the sale as a consultant, not a salesperson. And when they need a similar service in the future, they will think about contacting them. And this is not my opinion. The nuances of the Sandler selling system have provided over 1 million salespeople around the world with the ability to facilitate an effective process for gathering the information needed to close a sale. Simply put, it works. If your sales team starts leveraging this method, then let us know how it goes and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below too. And thanks for watching the video and I'll go ahead and see you on some of our following videos. Cheers.